Hey, my name's Adam. I'm with Sweener Builders, and today I'm going to be installing an Anderson window. I'm going to walk you guys through the process of how we do things. First, it starts, we start with our, our water abatement, which starts with a rain screen. There are many different types. We're using the hydro gap here. Um, and then we basically move up to our, our pan. Uh, many different types of pan, the homeowner and the architect chose to go with an actual copper pan for this installation today. Um, it's a pretty foolproof method. It's been around for a very long time. Um, it has a nice back dam back here, so if water does get in here, it really can't get into the house. So it's about as foolproof as you're going to get. So our next step is we take our WRB and we wrap it inside to about, about halfway right there, and we overlap the flange of the pan. So that way, in theory, if water does get in there, it kind of drips down and it stays in the pan and will not enter the house. Now, the only reason we go just about halfway is we, make sure, we want to make sure that it's nice and adhered to the stud so that it doesn't get in the way when we're insulating because if you run it inside too far, it starts flapping around and you don't get that nice insulation um, seal that we're really looking for at the end of the day. Uh, one other note is that we do, we do put a, a sealant behind the edge of this flange here to make sure any negative pressure, the air is not pulling inside here. All right, so now that our opening is prepped, I'm going to prep the window with the sealant. So we really want to focus here on the corners, because although we have, although we have the, black, the black flange right there, there's still, there's still a pinhole in there where water can get in. So we really want to goop up the sealant in those corners mainly. Now we only do three flanges because in theory we want our pan to work the way it's supposed to. So if we sealed the bottom flange, it wouldn't let water that potentially got into the house drain out. That's why we only do three sides, three flanges. Now she's in place. First thing we do is we'll center the window. That way, when we're going, to, we're going to plumb it up, we have room to go side to side. If I started too hard one way or the other, it wouldn't allow me to go left or right with the top. So Sean says we're centered, so we will check the bottom for level. Oh, this one's nice. So we're, we're actually good on both sides. Now typically I would start with the higher, the higher side. That way I can, when I went to level, I can move up the lower side and bring it into level. So what I'm using now is we have a copper pan that we've already installed. So what you need to use is copper nails so the metals don't clash. Galvanized roofing nails, it would wind up corroding the copper and the galvanized and it would potentially cause a leaky spot. Now I'll double, I'll double check again, see if we're still, we're still level. Sometimes the window will move around a little bit, but we are looking pretty good. So I will tack the other side. Again, I'm going through a copper pan, so we're using copper nails. All right, so now the bottom, the bottom is nice and level. So now we're gonna check for plumb. All right, Sean, you got to come that way about an eighth. Back just a smidge. Right there is good. Now I'll switch over to my galvanized, galvanized inch and a half. Now the window is nailed off and we're ready for our flashing tape. Flashing in general is the lapping, the lapping principle. So basically we have our, we have our pan installed. Then we have our extra layer of WRB, which laps over the pan, again, lapping over down towards the ground. And then we're gonna do the same thing with our six inch flashing tape. We're gonna lap over the flange, nice and tight to the window, create an airtight and watertight seal. We want to run it a little bit long on the top and also a little bit long on the bottom. Again, so we get that nice coverage, covers over the flange and then down onto the house wrap and it adheres very nicely. 
you can either use a roller, you can use a roller, or again, if it's a nice, a nice tape like the Hydro Flash here, it really adheres just with a good, a good hand rub. I'll repeat that on the other side. That's for the head. Again, keeping it nice and tight, nice and flat, nice and tight to the window. Get that lapping at the bottom, the lapping at the top. Making sure you get that good, the good adhesion again with the roller or just a good rub here. And really no water is getting back there. So again, we cut, we cut the WRB, we flap this up here so we can get our flashing, our head flashing underneath it. Again, sticking to that, the lapping principle. Go nice and tight to the window. Again, you want to keep it as flat as possible. Very minimal ripples. Make sure you're getting that solid adhesion that we're looking for. Again, head flashing, lapping, leg flashing. So everything drains down. Then we just fold our, fold our house wrap back down. Making sure that's sticking nicely. Got perfect lapping, perfect lapping over here. And then we just still have a little slit in these corners that we'll address with one more little square or rectangle rather of this hydro flash. Cover that corner, again lapping properly. Do one more on the other side. Now there's many different sizes of flashing tape. They make a four, you know, six, eight, uh, many different sizes. And we choose, we choose the six inch, the six inch flashing tape because we, our trim, our trim package usually runs about three and a half inches. It's a very standard, standard size. So what that does is that brings us out to about here. So what it also gives us is when our siding, our siding comes in, we get that nice extra layer because where the siding meets the trim is a potential entry point for the water. So having that extra layer, that extra coverage here. So when the water gets in there, you know where it goes, it just laps down the way it should and it stays on the house wrap and doesn't enter the house. And there you have it, that's pretty much it.